In this last video, I'm going to show you how to view histone modifications and chromatin state maps. So we're going to scroll down to the regulation section. And first of all, we're going to look at this ENCODE regulation. So again, we've just got a hide or show option. So we're going to click on the title itself, and that takes you to this option here. We're not going to look at transcription because you so because you already have those tracks, but you can view these ones instead if you want. We're going to look at histone H3 lysine 4 trimethyl, which is uh, a promoter mark, and we're going to click that on the full, check the box. We're also looking at H3 lysine 27 acetal, which is a an enhancer mark more. Um, for some of your other tasks, I've asked you to look at the transcription factor chip. We're not going to look at that right now. Um, you can also click on the links here and that takes you to a list of all the cell lines they've used. So we'll just keep them all for now, but if you just wanted to look at one of them, if you knew that one cell line expressed your gene particularly, you can check these boxes on and off. We will set that to full, submit. Uh, so now here we have the H3 license for trimethyl data and it's layered so basically each colour is a different cell line so you can see the amalgamation and get a feel for where in most cell lines where this particular mark is found. Um, so we have a large peak of this promoter modification and I say promoter but often we find it downstream where the actual transcription starts out. So we had wanted also to see the lysine 27 and we're not seeing it. So we'll go back to that menu here, ENCODE regulation. Oh, we've lost it. So we're going to click that full, turn that on, submit. There we go. So now the lysine 27 acetylation. So it's a slightly different place. There's some overlaps with the lysine 4, but we also see it in different places. So the other really useful thing to do is look at chromatin state maps. So to do that, we go down again to the regulation menu, and now we're looking at ENC histo. So we'll click on the link for ENCODE histo. And here we want the broad, so that's the Broad Institute, chromosome histo modification maps. Um, so DENT, click that on, and click these to hide. If we click on that track title, we can see the different cell lines that they did this on. So for, for starters, we're going to look at all of them. So you can click them separately, or we can just click the plus there, and that selects them all. And then we're going to go submit. So now we get a lot of colours. And to work out what the colours are, you can right click and set it to full, and it'll spread them out. And now you see the key here. So if it's red, it means active promoter. Well, how do they decide active promoter? Where is this coming from? Well, what they've done is they've done RNA seq, sorry, chip seq for loads of different modifications and different cell types. And based on the literature and using computer algorithms, they've decided um, by studying the patterns of modifications, which regions of the genome are likely to be active promoters or active enhancers. So we know promoters have H3 lysine 4 trimethyl, for example. We know enhancers tend to have lysine 27 acetyl. So they've used an algorithm looking at lots of different modifications to make these predictions. So we'll just put that back to dense. So you can see in all these cell lines, it predicts that this is a promoter region. We have some enhancer sequence here, then green is transcribed. Uh, we can take this back and look at the H the beta globin gene that we were looking at before. So we get a very different pattern for that, we'll just zoom out a bit. Uh, so HBB is expressed in K562 cells, so we can see we have some histone marks for that. I think they think it looks like an enhancer, whereas in other cell types the gene is not expressed and so we don't have data. So these chromatin modification maps are very powerful ways to assess what the state of the chromatin is in cells and whether there are likely to be enhancers in particular places or uh, silenced genes or active genes. It's a very powerful way of analysing things on a genome-wide scale. 